Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to add automatic customer information on um, on the invoice uh, template that we saw yesterday. So uh, so here I have uh, you know a beginning of a, an invoice template with the automatic data for all my product reference and the quantity. So I just have to put the reference to quantity. It gives me the amount what I'd like. Uh, so that's my company. I can put my address. I'd like to have all the customer information. So, uh, you know, so it would be nice to have a drop down list and to be able to pick a customer and then have all the information with his address and uh, everything. So that's what we're going to build. Uh, as usual, I'm going to give you the template right below the video. So you can download it right now and see, um, you know, so you can follow with me with all the formula everything already built so the first thing that we're going to to need is the list of our of our customers so uh so i'm going to put it down so it's going to be custom customer names address uh and you can put anything you want for example tax id if it's relevant for you um and score Customer name is going to be big company, big company, uh, huge corp, I don't know, something, um, uh, and tiny shop address, it's going to be um, main street, I don't know, uh, address overseas. And the corner, I don't know, I don't want to make complicated names. And here we're just going to put some dummy dummy values for the tax ID. Um, now, what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, first to make some space for our customer's data. So here we're going to um, say customer name. Customer So maybe uh, build to um, address billing address and another thing is going to be insert tax ID oops tax ID Tax ID. Okay. Um, now I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to what? I'm going to um, to put the drop down list here. So here it's going to be. I'm going to allow data. I'm going to make a data validation and allow um, allow a list which is going to be data which is going to be in my customer names here. Okay, um, for example, big company. Uh, so first, I'm, what I'm going to do for format, I'm going to put everything in white. It's uh, probably better like this. It's probably nicer when you print it then. Um, I'm going to put it like this. My company, my address build to uh, my co big company, and here we're going to use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP uh, this value into the table of all the customers. Uh, uh, and we want the billing address, it's going to be the second column with an exact match. Okay, and here, same formula. Uh, same formula except we want the third column so easy tax id and what's cool now is i can just change the name of the company and uh it tells me the address so of course you're going to put real address um and tax id or whatever uh, reference you need maybe it could be uh um, 
like the account number or sometimes the you know the your customers they mention that they want a special number in the invoice for their their own references so that, that's something you can put here um and you're gonna have uh, automatically the values uh, to pick for, from from uh, from your list so that's that's an improvement um so as usual you can download the file below i'm gonna give you the link you can download it right below the video um, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish. See you tomorrow, champions. Ciao.